BBC TV 18 celebrating 25 years of serving the audience of millions and millions of viewers and we have with us a very special guest Ms. Gopinath. Uh, Ms. Gopinath, I personally have had the benefit of seeing so many interactions and so many comments that you've given uh, but only from television. I think this is the first time I get to see you in person. Uh, quick thoughts ma'am, 25 years journey. Uh, we've seen tumultuous times, we've seen exciting times as well. Uh, how would you look back at this journey that we've seen over the last 25 years and the role that you think CNBC TV 18 has played in this journey? Oh, it's been a, actually a wonderful journey of 25 years for CNBC, definitely. Uh, yes, we've had tumultuous years as well as exciting years. We've seen uh, high growth rates in India and, of course, uh, the impact of the global financial crisis. I think that has been a really major disruption. but. I think India uh, really didn't face that much of disruption. And then I think with CNBC keeping us updated every single minute as to what's happening, not just in, uh, in mainly what's happening in the world, uh, I think it's, uh, it's been uh, extremely uh, a powerful ally for everybody here, the policymakers and others uh, in, um, in making, uh, I think in, in enabling us to uh, really uh, think through with all the information that is available. Yeah. You mentioned tumultuous times, we, you mentioned exciting times the last 25 years. That could very well be a description of the current times as well. Give us a sense that when you look ahead, uh, we've completed 25 years journey, we're trying to look ahead, we're trying to get our viewers' perspective on that. What to your mind are some of the indicators that you're watching out for, uh, especially as you mentioned since tumultuous and exciting times seeming to continue? Yes, of course, um, external uh, factors uh, do have, external environment does have uh, some impa impact on the Indian economy. And I think uh, having been through the global financial crisis, uh, initially we did feel that we were kind of, uh, you know, not really impacted. We were immune or not exactly immune, but at least largely immune. Uh, but I, I know that it's, uh, we, we've all learned that um, th there'll always be some impact or the other, but definitely we are in a good place. We are uh, in a position to withstand uh, a lot of the issues that are coming up now, whether it is political or economic. And um, I guess it's a combination of all the policies that, has, that have happened so far, like whether our foreign policy or the economic policy, the reforms. So I think it's really not just one factor, but all the factors that have uh, made India far more resilient. One final question, ma'am, on rate relaxation. I think that is everything. <laughs> Everybody is talking about that. We were thinking maybe by the end of the year we may turn the corner. Are we near that stage? Is inflation under grasp where we can look ahead and make that turn uh, towards perhaps lighter rates, lower rates? Certainly, RBI is the best judge of the situation. And uh, we all know, I mean, data is there out in the public. So um, I'm sure uh, the Reserve Bank will take a decision that is in the best interest. And given the mandate that RBA has, the uh, inflation mandate, and growth is there, but growth is always with stability. So I, I'm sure that uh, RBI will ensure that uh, whatever decision it takes, uh, financial stability is not affected and that there is liquidity in the economy to fuel the growth that is required. Ms. Gopinath, it's been a pleasure, personally as well. Pleasure having you. Thank you so much for being a part of this GLS, the Global Leadership Summit. We wish you the very best. Thank you.